Yes, let me drink your piss wasser to feel better about myself. Hey, I want your roster. Please give roster. Thank you. Now we can find you all and assassinate. We'll send Ezio for this. He'll auditory your death. That was another shitty joke by yours truly. Ah, meta. Zack. <laughs> I asked him again through the power of my mind for a shit joke. Such a good friend. Whenever you need a shit joke, just ask Zack. The Lego Maniac. Wait. Ah. Oh. Bullet holes are floating above the object. That's nothing new. <laughs> what you wanna see floating stuff in games? You should check out Dark Souls 3. You never actually touch the ground. You're just slightly floating above it, so it gives an illusion when you're not paying attention that you're on the ground, but you're actually not. Oh, I was transcending humanity for a second. My my bad, my bad. We have no time for such uh, triviality. This is probably not where I want to be right now. Okay, maybe it is. Oh, nice cones. <laughs> nice gnome child hats. Hey you! Smile for the camera. Alright, where are the gyro? Is this the gyro? Hey, what the fuck was that? I just... <laughs> I just clipped through it and got teleported. So where do I put the gyro in this? Or maybe this is not the rocket I'm looking for. This looks incomplete. I probably need something a bit more substantial. Something more likely to blow shit up. Like that thing over there. Oh, above. I got them. Oh, look at that. V2 schematic acquired. Alright. We got the schematic. Now we need to gain access to guidance lab and sabotage the gyro. <laughs> We're going to put a lot of garlic and mustard into the gyro. Oh, yes. And then... To truly sabotage it, we'll put strawberry jam on it. No one ever again will be able to eat that gyro. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> strawberry jam with mustard and fucking garlic? No thanks. That sounds like a combination of foods you do not want. Hey, nice type pride, bro. Open up in there. Is this the guidance lab? This? This looks more like it's a fucking... <laughs> this looks like a fucking solitary confinement room. That was a gyro? <laughs> it just looked like a Beyblade or something. <laughs> we will use Beyblade technology to gyroscope our rocket. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know they had Beyblades this early in the years. I thought it was just a cool fad back in back in the days when I was young. Beyblades are pretty fun, despite being a a fad. You're a Jimmy Patterson. 
No shit, of course I am. Hey! You got like five fucking bullets in your chest and you're still alive? Nah, uh You are supposed to be D-E-D. -E -D. Dead. <laughs> What's the point of this? <laughs> it's just a random thing you can sit in. But what the fuck was the point of that guard? Oh, I'm just gonna guard these explode barrels. Hope they don't shoot them. Oh no! <laughs> you should never stand next to explode barrels. It's just a fucking law. You stand next to them, you die. You die very easily because they're easy to explode. It's like they're made out of explodium or something. It should be a material. Like it should be an element. Oh no! Don't die on me now! I'm so close! My death must not happen! We must flee! Oh, I survived. Awesome. Keep it up. Proud of you, soldier. Triumph. This rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the High Command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with their heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the missile age the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow. That's a nice rocket. Oh, we have stopped the evil rocket. I think Nordhausen is now blown up Hausen. But, it's, but is it over? Is the game complete? That is a good question. Not quite yet, it seems. In the pandemonium of your assault, the Shermans host hastily, 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 not hostily, hastily loaded the sabotage gyroscope into the rocket for an immediate launch. Dr. Gronek knows what you're up to, so he's quietly made an exit along with someone named Werner von Braun. Before he departed, Grone did you a big favor. Big favor. He cut the communications cable between Norhausen's command center and the launch gantry. It goes without saying, but the gantry will be heavily defended. Huh. Tell me more. You've got to make it down there, Patterson. It's the only place to manually launch the rocket. You'll find a set of auxiliary controls inside the blockhouse. Begin the launch sequence from there. With a communications cut, there will be no way for the command center to stop it. If you were successful in sabotaging the gyro, the V2 should go into gimbal lock just seconds after launch. Stay inside the blockhouse. It's been reinforced to survive explosions of this magnitude. When the rocket comes crashing down on top of you, It'll be the only safe place in all of Nordhausen. Bonne chance, my dear friend. Good luck. Bon app edit. Oh, the fight continues, unfortunately. It's still not fucking over yet. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Uh! And so the V2 program was complete. <laughs> now nah, let's try that again. That's bullshit. I should have not died. So let's try this again. You put that thing away, you crazy man. What the? 
another one? Who shot me? Who shot me? Really, who the hell was that? I shot the guy with a bazooka and then I get blown up anyway. Unless they threw a grenade that I didn't see. There's some serious bullshit going on in here. Hey! He just fucking spawned in on me. Who the hell was that? Was that the bazooka man who killed me the second time? Camper? Man, who, what do you care if I camp or not? Oh! This is mighty spooky. Something just blew up next to me. I'm going to escape. What the? I was just there! What do you mean he is already there? Huh? They're spawning enemies. They're spawning enemies on me. That is not correct. Ah! Oh, and they all have fucking rocket launchers! No, stop shooting at me for fuck's sake. God damn it. Son of a bitch. What's your fucking damage? I don't think I'm gonna survive this. I'm near death. They're chasing me. My feet are sore. I wish I was home playing video games. Who keeps fucking calling me a camper? What is that sound? Oh! Yeah, I figured as much. What would you expect? The motherfuckers are spawning enemies on top of me. Well, it'll be the toughest fight yet. Yeah, if you spawn enemies on top, of course it's gonna be fucking tough. Dickheads. Sure, keep them sp spawn some enemies if you want to, but do you have? Ow! What the fuck, dude? He he already died. Why did he shoot twice? Man, this is getting really fucking ridiculous. What is this horseshit? Come on! I just was there. One second just passed since I left the fucking spot. Already, there's five fucking people with fucking rockets. Come on! How is this fair? This isn't fucking funny. All this time the game is just fine and dandy, and then suddenly, oh, let's just throw a million fucking enemies with rocket launchers. That will work. We'll simulate the experience. Hey, you want the simulation of my experience right now? I'm not having fun when I'm getting surrounded by a million fucking soldiers that are coming out of fucking nowhere. It's not fun. It wouldn't be that big of a deal if it happened before, but this is like the first time a buttload of soldiers are getting spawned all over the place. And now it's fucking quiet. What the hell? Wasn't I able to kill this guy before? Hmm. Oh well. But anyway, what the hell, man? That one spot is so full of the fucking people that you can't even move, let alone do anything. And then suddenly... Uh... Okay, just two guy. Two guy. All, all is good. What the fuck? What's if it... What's if the jumpy difficulty all of a sudden? Just keep it one way or the other. 
Is this it? Yeah, it is. That's all there was. Now what? I can't leave this fucking room, and in fact, I probably shouldn't even bother trying to leave the room. So now what? I can't even leave the room. That's the thing. Oh, it's about to get launched. Well, I hope they won't decide to kill me just because the fucking hatch at the top is missing. Because that would be just silly. Okay, the rocket has been launched. I think they're about to blow. <laughs> oh! That was it? Come on, I expected a bigger explosion. What is this? Meh. Huh, nice inspirational quote, Churchly. Victory! General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. That's a pretty shitty rocket if it didn't even lift off properly. <laughs> ah, medal awarded. Congratulations. So is this it? Did we actually win? Have we completed this game? Well, I believe so. Let's find out. It, it should be it. What an odd thing. It says next mission. Well, let's try. Let's see what it says. Ah. Oh. So it just lets you restart the mission if. The last fucking mission if you want to. What's the point? I just finished the game. Why would I want to restart the last mission? Why not just. New game? No. Quit. Quit. Alright. So. We finished the game. This was Medal of Honor. We defeated the Germans. We blew up their big rocket and everything else that was needed to blow up. And we are now victorious. Which means I can finally say goodbye to this game and move on to others, particularly the one that I have a very strong itch to do, which will be coming up pretty soon I imagine well maybe maybe it won't show up soon on the channel but I know one thing it will be showing up soon on my hard drives because I can't wait till I start that it's another SNES game and I'm just dying to start as for Medal of Honor, well, it was pretty fun, but that last bit with infinitely spawning enemies and mass with rocket launchers? Fuck that. That was stupid. With that said, you should definitely give it a shot if you have the chance. It's a pretty good game. Which also likes to show fucking cutscenes when nothing's happening. <laughs> anyway. I'm Walter Richards from the Game Train. This was Medal of Honor for PlayStation 1. And I'll see you guys next time for several uh, playthroughs of Super Castlevania, Mr. Nuts, Spyro 2, and that other SNES game.
that I'm dying to record. You'll see what it is soon enough. Until then, happy holidays and see you next time.